Hello, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you're well and I hope you've had a good week. Last week, um, I received a few people asking me, what's the message of this rather interesting comic story Talmud uh, tale? Um, you know, what, what's, what's it trying to say? So perhaps one, one suggestion is as follows. A tree has roots. And the roots is what allows the tree to be stable, to be strong, to survive. Um, and therefore, taking that into a religious context, knowing where you come from and staying true to that and staying, you know, having that very strong stability is what allows you to survive anything and everything of this world, whatever types of monsters, whether they're physical, mental, emotional monsters, you could survive them if you've got strong roots. Perhaps that's one of the messages. For this week, what I'd look at is just briefly a text that we read throughout the month leading up to the high holidays. And of course, on the high holidays, Rosh Hashanah next week and Yom Kippur the following week. And it comes from Psalm 27, um, and what we say is, I request from you, God, that I should be able to see your countenance. Um, or the Hebrew word, panecha, to see your face. The Hasidic interpretation, as opposed to just countenance, is that I should be able to have a panimi relationship, panecha, a panimi relationship, which is a deep relationship, not just an external Chitzoni relationship, but a Panimi relationship. The example would be is someone could be in a relationship and the relationship could be just surface level. They're doing all the things to keep the relationship going, but the heart is not in it. They don't feel connected. They don't feel that bond. So we're requesting that we should be able to feel a, not just a duty bound Jewish relationship, but also a emotional bound relationship too. Um, and of course the question then is, how do I do that? How do I have that? And what I'll say is that on Yom Kippur, we're going to be having a break in the middle of services and we're going to do a crash course of the fundamental idea of Hasidism, how to have a meaningful relationship how to create a meaningful relationship with our soul and how to have a meaningful relationship with God. So um, please do join. It's going to begin approximately 2 p.m. on the Yom Kippur service, uh, on the Yom Kippur daytime. Shabbat Shalom. I may not get a chance to send a message before Rosh Hashanah, so I'd like to wish you also a happy and healthy, sweet new year with only blessing and success and no stress and joy and nachas. Um, Shana Tova, and I'll see you soon.